Today I'm in Northern California along the coast at the Usall State Beach and I'm up above the beach in an old redwood forest and there's quite a few redwood forests along the Northern California coastline. What makes this grove different though is that the redwoods here don't grow like any other redwoods on earth. This grove in particular is fairly remote. It's a six mile drive down a dirt road just to get here to the beach. Redwoods are harvested for lumber because they have a lot of beneficial qualities. They're resistant to fire, resistant to rot. If you need a hardwood construction, you might go with redwood. And just like pine, they tend to grow straight up without any trunks branching off. And that makes them easy to harvest, easy to, for them to be turned into lumber, and easy for them to be used in construction. Which makes you wonder, what exactly happened here to make these redwoods so different? This is the only location that these misshapen trees are found. The trunks diverge a few feet off of the ground into half a dozen to a dozen smaller trunks, which is how they got the name Candelabra Redwood. This area has the only known Candelabra Redwoods, where instead of one singular trunk, one stem going straight up to the sky, it actually has dozens that branched off at some point in time during its growth. And the reason is unknown, but there are theories. One is that the harsh winds and salt air at one point broke the trunks early on in their lives, resulting in them branching off into multiple trunks, all reaching to the sky as a normal redwood would. Their uniqueness is actually what saved them, though, because this area, like many others, were harvested for redwood years ago. But due to the fact that the tree didn't grow straight and it would make no real sense to try and cut it down and ship it out of here, It's much easier to just cut down a normal tree and get it onto some sort of truck. Whereas these would require cutting them into segments and the wood being questionable as to whether it was even straight or not isn't really worth the effort. And because of that, they stand here today. And they shouldn't be going anywhere. They've been here for hundreds of years. The locals call it the Enchanted Forest. It's a 957 acre property owned and overseen by the Save the Redwoods League. The oldest is assumed to be over 500 years old and they're now protected and shouldn't be going anywhere anytime soon. Thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, get lost.